Donuts decided to give you guys a treat, Short King Spring. In honor of the first day of spring and all of our loyal Short King fans out there, beginning March 19th, a Dunkin' Donuts small ice regular coffee will be available under the name The Short King. <laughs> Fellas, how y'all feel? Did this do it for you? Or was like, put some respect on my name? Thing? Whoa, whoa, nah. Nah, 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 nah. This some undercover short man slander. Then add it. <laughs> I'm not laughing at y'all. <laughs> I'm not. I'm laughing at Dunkin' Donuts. They then said, because sometimes you don't need a large or even a medium. You just need a short king. Oh. Dog. <laughs> what the f*** is doing PR at Dunkin' Donuts? Oh. Dunkin' Donuts did not Nah, hold on, nah, fuck all that, bruh. Fuck all that, bruh. If y'all don't see the undercover short man slander in that, I don't know what y'all, man. Boy. I better not see none of you at Dunkin' Donuts asking for the Short King special. Have some self-respect. Uh, hey. Anyways, my name is Lady Baby G. I'm from neighborhood 40 Chris, San Diego. You know all that. All that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, baby. What's it going back? Pop your shit, bro. Hey. <laughs> hey, I'm here. Here we go. Shout out to the makeup artist, though. She did a hell of a job. But if you know, you know. She stood up 10 toes instead of laying down. Because if you wife me... Monday, you're going to have jollof fries with Atara Day. Tuesday, you're going to have okra soup. Mm. Wednesday, you're going to be eating braised and bread. Thursday mm. is minor. You're going to be drinking Gary and Granite. Cool, that's basic. Friday, you're going to be eating plantain, mm -hmm. plantain and egg. Saturday, you're going to be eating spaghetti. Sunday, you're going to be eating rice and stew. That's why you should wife me. But I've been in a situation like this, but I was on the outside. Okay? I was on the outside looking in. But I was benefiting also. Let me explain. When my boy was single, because he wifed up now, and just in case wifey looking at this, this was before your time, sis, all right? He used to talk to this chick. She was Nigerian. And she could cook. Jell-off rice, a goosey. This is my first, I think it's a goosey, right? This is my first time having a goosey. When he was on his way to her house, I used to be on the phone giving him pep talks. Hey, listen to me, bro. Don't go over there giving her no half ass. The food is on the line. Did you take a honey pack? Make sure you go over there and bust her ass because the food is on the line. Sometime my man go over there, he finished with doing what he doing, I'll go pick him up. He come outside with that Tupperware, I make sure I get out the car and grab the Tupperware from him, put it in the, in the back seat. <laughs> not, not that I say that shit out loud, bro. That shit is funny as hell. But, bro, she could cook, bro. And after a while, he told her, like, yo, my friend really like your cooking. So now he used to go over there and she used to give him extra food because she knew your boy wanted some. How old are you? You never ask a woman their age. I'm old enough. I'm grown. Are you pushing 30 or past it? Oh, my God. I'm old. I'm up there. That's my friend. Oh, no. What do you need from a man who you're going to take seriously? Money. That's all you look for? In a clean Loyalty. Ball. Money in a clean booty hole. Loyalty. Loyalty come first. What's this booty hole have to do with anything? That's what she likes. You like eating that? She eats real bad. I got a girlfriend, so I don't know about eating that. Now, when it comes on to the money, why does your man have to have it? Because I get it. So how much you make then? That's none of your business. I'm a nurse, and that's none of your business. So how much you want your man to make as a nurse? He ain't gonna be no nurse. I don't want my man to be no nurse. But you're the nurse. So how much do you want your man? Hey, don't sleep. Don't sleep now. She don't want her man to be a nurse, but I guarantee you she got a work husband. And guess what? He a nurse. Don't sleep. Because <laughs> I, I know them nurses be f***ing. <laughs> he need to be in the streets. Stay down till we come up. You want a Where's the tea? guy while you're in the medical field? I want a good guy, bad guy, whatever brings the money and make me richer. That's what it is. Yo, I was on his page and I seen a, another clip with these three. Let's just say Shorty in the Gray gets way more ratchet than that. These ain't the type of women that you wife. Common sense would tell you that these aren't the type of women that 
you bring home to your mother. Crazy thing is common sense isn't common for everybody. Some of y'all will see how somebody act, but that piece of pussy will change your mind. Stop falling in love with the pussy. Pay attention to the person. What is a crazy spring break confession? Uh, I can't say it on live TV. Is this a lot? We're not live. Oh, we're not live? Well, you like not tell it? Yeah, you can tell it. So, um, I, I used to go to school in Florida, and me and my friends had a threesome in a, a, a hotel room with a bunch of, um, like, race car drivers. I don't know how else to say it. I just feel like it's fucking that. Oh, my God, it's so funny. A threesome with... With race car drivers. Oh, race car drivers? How many of them was it? Because you, you said a bunch there of... There's three of us. There's three of us. And there's oh. three of them. It was like oh. a... Okay, so it's I know it's mutual, it's mutual, it's mutual. Oh y'all swapping. Crazy spring break. They was swapping. That's what that means. They was swapping. But that out that ain't a threesome. That's a that's an orgy. I always wondered if the NASCAR drivers was getting what that confirms it. Isn't this illegal? Part three. Somebody put tape on the cluster. We're gonna open it up. to clean this up, man. ABS, airbag, tire pressure, traction, stability control. Clean this all up. Now, should be able to see all those damn lights. ABS, not even on, so why yeah. can't you cover it? Damn. Not even the traction? Cool, good for me. What? I don't understand why they didn't just cover the check engine light too. Red, red, red. Boy, do we got some code. Passenger seat. Gonna give it a quick erase. Something's not right here. That's much better. Somehow we just did that. Follow to see what else we need to fix this. After my Camry, I'll never buy another used car. Because this is the type of stuff you have to do with. I hate car salesmen, bro. I hate them with a passion. They have no empathy for you. Things I wish I knew. Now, I know you're trying to show us something, but putting them dirty ass shoes on top of your food. It's diabolical. Now, you know common sense isn't common for everybody, but I'm kind of confused as to what's going on, but I'll take a wild guess. Did the ice stretch the shoes out? Because if that's what's going on, I have a six-year-old that I'm tired of buying shoes for. I'm going to try this, and later on, I'm going to let y'all know if it worked. <laughs> One, this is a prime example why women are walking around here scared for their safety. Two, this is a prime example why I never brought my girlfriend to the club. When I used to go to the club, I never understood why niggas used to bring their girlfriends to the club. Why put yourself in a situation where somebody who can't control their liquor would disrespect your woman in front of you and now you have to do something? When we used to go to the club and dudes would bring their girls in there and they walking through the crowd, dudes that were in there 
would just be palming her ass as she walked by. I've never been in no situation where it's me, my wife, and a whole bunch of men surrounding us. I would not put her in that predicament. I would not put myself in that predicament. And I never understood dudes that put themselves in that predicament. 